Another one of those mid-tiers that have gotten an insane amount of buffs, his uh, air momentum in particular. He can kind of dance around you in the air, and I, in Smash 4, I would assume that this was more in Villager's favor, but with all the buffs uh, in end lag and speed and air momentum, I feel like Wario can just dance all over Villager almost. On top of that, typically speaking, Wario can get more waft pressure oh, throughout yeah. a match, not only because we have more stocks and more time on the clock than from what we're used to in Smash 4, but also just the way that Waft charges is slightly different. And of course, Wario is capable of eating plenty on the field to accelerate the Waft charge. Is it faster? I feel like it's definitely faster in this game, the Waft charge. I don't want to say it is for certain because I don't know like the, the actual time yeah. it takes to get to like a half Waft or whatnot. But I do know that the tree acts exactly the same in Smash 4 and Stock Taker was no stranger to using that. 45%. I love the tree. Uh, I, I just wanted to make a, uh, a statement about earlier. I didn't even realize that uh, Sigma was already at 100%. The amount of damage that this character does is kind of ridiculous. Oh, yeah. Uh, me and Stocktaker have talked extensively about the types of changes that they've made to Villager and lack thereof. Uh, a lot of Villager's kit has not changed. It's really just the world around him mm -hmm. has changed, and I feel like because of that, Villager is going to be a sleeper pick for a character that no one really expects to be as good as they are. Yeah, he had a really scary ledge trap situation. Luckily, Sigma was able to get out, and uh, because of these engine buffs, you see Villagers kind of running around. We're not seeing as much of side B spam as most Villagers uh, would do, and he would only use it in situations like that to put on extra pressure, but it's the bait and punish that we can do in this game with dash back that makes it so much scarier uh, for a campy character like Villager, because he has better options now to run in. He has options to run in. In Smash 4, one of the issues with uh, one of the issues with Villager's kit is the fact that he was one of the slowest characters in the game. He had a very leisurely pace to the battle out of hand, but now his initial dash is a little bit better, and you can abuse that with the dash back mechanics. So it's not as necessary to try and camp or assert long range pressure with Lloyd Rocket. And right now we're seeing Stock Taker slowly chip away at his opponent, getting already a three stock comeback. Uh, Stock Taker is being very, very careful to survive as long as he can. He side beat all the way to the side so he can grab the ledge. I think Stock Taker assumed that the tree was still up so he could ride into it. Mm -hmm. And going to the ledge was ultimately his demise. But it's nice to see Lloyd Rock get a, uh, a good amount of use just because that's also been changed. But its, it's changes are kind of strange. Mm -hmm. No reason to go into detail with it for now. but. As we look at the battle at hand, I feel like Milk could be using uh, the stage better. Mm -hmm. Just because Pokemon Stadium 2 is one of the wider stages that we have on our stage list. And because of that, a lot of the lateral uh, pressure that Wario provides can be used a lot slower of a pace. Like, Milk is really trying to rush into mm -hmm. this Waft confirm right now. And I feel like he could be using his really good air momentum, like you mentioned before, mm -hmm. and his bike to just bait in Stock Taker because one thing that hasn't changed about Villager is that he doesn't have that great of uh, approaching options. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking of Waft, yeah, oh, this is a very <laughs> scary situation. Um, you can indefinitely hold that now. And without Bike, Wario becomes a lot more linear in his recovery. Uh, however, Milk, if you were able to take the stock with the Waft, I can see the comeback, oh, possibly. Um, Wario has a lot of kill power, dash attack being one of them. And him at the ledge, this is a really good sign. Maybe he wants to hold the wall for the next stock. You can kill at a ridiculously early percent, probably like 30, 40. I mean, he's, he's trying to do something without the waft, but it's been a struggle. Back there is going to be able to do it. However, he's got 99% still built up onto him. And Stock Taker's very aware of that very large glow of yellow around mm -hmm. Wario. So. Yeah, and now you can see the uh, the more more Lloyds, more fadeaway fares, more fadeaway bears. He wants to stay away from the, the WAP because he knows that if he gets hit just one or two more times and he's at the ledge, he might just die. Ooh, that was <laughs> ooh, that was a crazy bait coming out from Stock Taker. Being able to maneuver quickly with the watering can mm -hmm. has is still one of Villager's best close range mix-ups because whenever he has the watering can out, his movement speed is just much quicker and because of that, you can step back a lot heavier. Oh, hold is, on. This is the scary situation. He's at 30%. If he, if he goes anywhere near this ledge, we could see an amazing comeback, possibly a three-stock comeback. Ooh, 
There we go. Pick up with the up tilt. They've made that move better. Stock Taker knows it, and he's going to use it and abuse it as we go into into. And shout out to J Roos for the sub. Yeah, I when know. is Raptor? Raptor. The Mystery and Stock Taker left Raptor in the car where he belongs. Oh no. I bet he is freezing right now. But good, stru uh, good stuff for Stock Taker taking game one. I know for a fact. He was on the edge of his seat right there. Understanding that Waft was such a scary situation, getting a very nice ledge trap. Um, and hopefully we can see Milk understanding like, hey, I could have had that. He, he kind of was rushing in uh, the entire first two stocks. And as you saw, he took that one stock and he ran with it the entire rest of the game. So hopefully we're gonna see a lot more interesting match coming in possibly a battlefield? It looks like they're going to a battlefield variant and this is... Oh, no, FD. They went to FD Battlefield. That's whack. Yeah, that's a Can little... we not allow that in the future? See... Cursed ass stage. I I'm still going to be that... I'm still going to be that guy um, about Omegas and Battlefields. I if we were on uh, Green Hill Zone Battlefield against a villager, down B? Oh, yeah, you can't you see, that. see that. It's even better on Dreamland. There's actually oh, quite yeah. a few stages. A lot of uh, trap-based characters you mess up. Snake? Snake on Dreamland. Snake on a lot of the darker the flowers, stages. The you, flowers will cover you it. You can't see C4. We can All go right. into that during the off time. We're going into regular battlefield for game two. Um, again, I, I kind of feel kind of off with this uh, pick. Only because battlefield's not nearly as big as it once was. I feel like a lot of players still need to get used to that. Oh, okay, so, so you, you assume that he picked the stage out of uh, being able to live longer, so Waft will come around more? Uh, part of that, but also, like, the base stage itself is uh, a lot easier to traverse, I would say, for both characters now, so you can't even really make use of the triplats to play defensively, just because a little bit more space between them, mm -hmm. and in general, I feel like Wario's a bit on the floatier, faster side, so he's going to be traversing everything a lot easier than before. It's not as much of a commitment because of that. I don't know. It, it's a very odd choice of a stage. I hope Milk puts it to good use, but... I don't know what about this particular pick makes him uh, sure that it would be good against Villager, where I know historically Stock Taker's always felt very confident on this stage, despite it not being a super strong stage for Villager. Yeah, Villager able to poke around, like you said, with, with it being a little bigger, I feel like um, Villager is able to camp more, he's able to live longer, and I feel like this is like the probably the most neutral stage both of these characters can have for each other. Because as you can see, they're both living to a relatively decent percent um, at Milk at 123. And Milk is going to take that. He's 100% okay with that. The longer he lives, the scarier it is going to be for Stock Taker. Unless he gets this, um, oh my, you see? Man, he's got to go for forward tilt with tree at the ledge will actually hit below the ledge. Really? It hits under the ledge? I know that was for certain in Smash 4. I need to test to see if it works in this game as well. But to my knowledge, they have not changed that hitbox dramatically enough for that to not happen. But forward tilt extended by the tree does reach below battle. Field watch. Uh, stock taker taking that first stock is going to be a huge difference because right now, as you can see, he can just shoot those pellets. He just keep going and keep going. Does he have bike in hand right now? Yeah, he's, he's got the bike in his pocket. Ooh. It's been chilling there since about halfway through. Oh, there it is. <laughs> and that was back. <laughs> That's a huge deal when it comes down to Wario um, for his mix ups. You, you see Stock Taker being such a menace at the ledge with all his super creative uh, ledge setups. And Wario without bike basically means he can't go high. Hey, he is not allowed to go high against Villager, and that's going to be huge. It also means if we see a fair in Nair Chain like we saw in the first stock, mm -hmm. there's no way that Milk is oh, going to be able to come yeah. back because he can't use the bike to supplement his recovery. You're absolutely right. That's going to be scary for Milk. Um, 126 on his second stock. Stock Taker kind of running away with this right now. Yeah, like I said earlier, it's just a matchup that Stock Taker is confident in. And I feel like despite a lot of things changing around these two, this matchup has remained fairly stagnant. It's mm -hmm. a lot of what both of them are used to, and like I brought up in the pregame, Stock Taker had the lead. Oh, no! He had no, he had no bike. He had a bike. He went out there thinking he had a bike for a second. Oh, no. And just like you mentioned, one, one Nair was it. I mean, it's always been a good Nair, but that was the goodest a Nair could be. 8%. You're dead. Just like that. But oh good job to Stock yeah. Taker. All right, well, my time has been short. I have a, I have a match. It was nice commentating with you. It was nice commentating with you as well. Hopefully we see you on the mic later on. Hopefully I do. Oh.